Hi guys! So this will be the second edition of my 2011 favorites or my hits and misses for the year. And um, this is going to be all lip products. I'm going to try to make it as short as possible because my last one on eye products was absolutely insanely long. It was almost an hour. So I'm definitely going to pare it down um, and do like my favorite, favorite, favorites and just leave like the ones that I I like but don't love out of it. So, um, and it's hard with eyeshadows because I love eyeshadows so much and I love lip products too, but I have really tried to pare it down a lot. So, um, let's get right in to it. Um, I'm just going to start with lip balms. Favorite lip balm ever is Carmex. Um, I like to use the one in the pot at night to, so I can like get a really thick layer on there. Um, they also have the clickable sticks. Um, this is the one in vanilla. They also have, I think, strawberry, lime, and cherry. They have the little squeeze tube. They have the Carmex Moisture Plus, which is like a more satiny kind of feel to it. And it, um, They're all clear, by the way. And then they also came out with a Moisture Plus tinted version. This is peach sheer peach um, which is really really pretty for a day that you don't want like a ton of products on your lips you just want something um, that's colorful but sheer at the same time and really good for your lips Carmex is the best lip balm ever it heals your lips if they're cracked it prevents and helps heal uh, like the little cold sores or fever blisters or something like that I've heard it can also be used on your cuticles, on your elbows. Um, I've actually heard also that it can clear up pimples. I don't know about that, but um, I haven't used that for that purpose, but whatever. And I'm gonna do I'm gonna do hits and misses for like each category side by side um, to see if that works a little better. But my misses for lip balms are the Avon lip balms. And these got really good ratings online, and they had a sale over the holiday that they had 99 cents um, chapstick, so I got like all of them, and I hate them. Um, the packaging, like it comes with these like plastic things that you have to, they cover the cap, so you have to peel it off, and then it ends up like tearing and looking awful, and... Like this one, I actually just took the whole label all off because it just looked so bad. Um, slick Tint Hate. Um, this one is like a flavored, I forget what it's called, but it's like a flavored lip balm. They have like all these different flavors, um, which is okay, and it kind of leaves a little bit of a tint. Dew Kiss is slightly better, gives some sort of moisture. Their best is Care Deeply, Avon Care Care Deeply Lip Balm with Aloe. That's the best that they have, but I am really unimpressed with their lip balms. I also, this I don't have any of these, but I hate the regular ChapStick brand. I don't think it does anything. And the, the slick tint kind of reminds me of it because it's not moisture. Like, there's no moisture to it. It's like a stick and you have to keep, like pushing it around, trying to get it warmed up to like make it soft. It's just, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Um, and then my favorite things for tinted balms, other than the Carmex, um, this is more like makeup, not so much lip balm. Um, the L'Oreal Color Riche Balms, I have two of them. And these are very similar to the Revlon lip butters, especially the packaging. But um, they go on much more sheer, but they're still very pretty, and they are actually way more moisturizing than the Revlon lip butters are. And these aren't showing up well. They show up more pigmented on your lips because you do have some pigment to your lips. But I have Rose Elixir, which is the lighter shade, and it's number 218, and the number 318, Heavenly Berry. So here's Rose Elixir, and here's Heavenly Berry. Love those. <clears throat> the next product that I love, and 
these are the Revlon lip butters. I have eight of them, and I am not the type of person to buy like multiples of things. Like it takes a lot for me to buy multiples, and I have so many that I don't think I'm even. I did a video on lip butters, but I did get one more since then. You can watch my lip butter my lip butter video if you you know care to see which ones that I have but since then I bought sweet tart which is like a medium pink comes off like a fuchsia like that and then you can see my other video um, to see which other ones that I have um, if you care to see swatches, I can post them on my blog. If you really want to see them, let me know. And then I do already have a post on my blog when I had first bought some, and I bought I, I reviewed three of the lip butters, so that's already on there. Um, I don't have any misses as far as tinted lip balms. I just haven't tried that many, and the ones that I've tried, I like. So that's that. Now let's move on to lip gloss. My, my recently the ones I've been wearing like almost every day are the NYX um, Mega Shine lip glosses. I actually have two more that are coming that I ordered from Ulta, but I have sorry, Baby Rose, which is like a shimmery champagne, maybe a slight bit of pink to it, and it has some sparkle. I love the smell of them. They smell like fruity. I don't know. They smell really good. Somebody said they smelled like medicinal, like cherry medicine, but I don't know. I like the smell. Um, and then I have crystal soda. Which, sorry. Which looks like that. And it's like a peachy color. That's probably my favorite. Um, and then I have beige, which is actually a bright Barbie pink. And that's, um, it, it's like a cream. It doesn't have any sparkle to it. And then Cosmo, which is like a really sparkly mauve berry-ish color. So it's Baby Rose, Crystal Soda, Beige, and Cosmo. All right, and then I love, especially in the winter when my lips get really, really dry sometimes, I really like the Rimmel Moisture Renew with SPF 15. I have number 110 Pink Remedy. It's definitely moisturizing. This is really, really light and sheer. I really want to try one of like the berry colors to see how that comes off, if it's more pigmented or if it's like a sheer berry. And then another Rimmel, the Stay Glossy. And I have this in, I don't, I don't know. 1047 is the number on the bottom, but I know there's actual names to them, but it looks like they're not actually on the packaging. Um, but it's the light pink color and it is a little more sheer than the Moisture Renew but has like multifaceted sparkles in it so it kind of looks peachy in some light, pink in some light, I don't know if that'll show up on camera. I also love the, for a little more high end, the Buxom lip glosses. They're plumping. I have like a more neutral color, which is Eva, and they all have girls' names. And then Vicky is a more pink color, more pinky peach. And then I've recently um, gotten into Mac, so Mac lip glasses, and I have the MAC lip gloss in Nymphette, which is like a pinky gold 
sometimes looks purple, sometimes looks peach. Like it has such like different colors to it in the light. So it's, it looks very different in different light. And then I have the lip gloss in Oyster Girl, which is kind of like a lavendery pink. This looked very different online. Um, I thought it was going to be more of a pinky nude. And then the MAC Cream Sheen Glass in Delight, which um, I wouldn't have gotten from what it looked like online, but Florida Force um, on YouTube did a post on her blog about how great it was and what a great like pinky neutral it was that I had to get it and I definitely am happy that I did. It's a really great neutrally color. Um, and I was actually wearing it in my la my 2011 favorites lip product video. And I really, really like it. It's like a really cute, like a really cute pinky neutral color, um, kind of similar. Does It doesn't have any sparkle in it and this does, but it's kind of a similar color to the Buxom and Eva. Eva is a little more, it's more sparkly and war, like a warmer tone neutral, but the cream sheen glass in Delight is more of a pinky nude and it's just a cream. It has no shimmer to it at all. Um, so those are my favorites. Oh, one more. Um, this is an, a, like a cheaper favorite, but it is the Milani 3D Glitzy Glamour Gloss in Designer Label. And I just really like this because it's super, super shimmery. I love super glossy, super shimmery lips. And it has a brush applicator, which I like. And it has all these multifaceted sparkles in it. Um, but it comes off like a peach, basically. Um, and when the different sparkles hit the light, they kind of give off different colors. But um, I really, really like that as well. And that is all my favorites. I just am going to talk about a couple products that were misses for me. The first one is Elf Pout Perfector. Um, and it only came in one color, and it's called Glow. And this looked really, really pretty online. When I got it, I immediately opened it up, and it is so thick. You put it on your lips and it's like a foil. Like, and it's so sticky. You see, it's just like smearing. It's like, it's so sticky. Like it's old and been sitting around for a while. I don't know if I just got a bad one, but it is so thick. It's disgusting. I, I put it on and immediately wiped it off and I will be throwing this in the trash. All I did was save it so that I could tell you guys not to buy it. It's awful. Again, I don't know if I just got a bad one, but it is, I mean, it's just like smearing, it's it's like clumpy and gross, ugh, I hate it, disgusting. Second product, which I, I really hate to not like it, like I, I hate hating it, but it's the, the new Milani Superstay um, 10 Stain Gloss by Maybelline, I don't know if I just said that. Um, I haven't, I've only worn it once. Um, and basically the problem is that they are super, super dark or bright. Um, they do not have a good shade selection because I went with the lightest color, which is pink plush, the first time I got it because I don't like super dark lip stains. And it show and like on the little panel, you know, it shows like the color panels underneath of them to show you what color it's supposed to be, or whatever. This is pink plush, and it is bright. I mean, this is crazy bright, and it's the lightest one that they had. So I was like, oh my god, it's like pink. It's like very pink. And, you know, I mean, I'm all about bright pink lips, but, I mean, this was crazy. It's, like, insane pink, and it's the lightest one that they had. 
So then I was like, okay, well, maybe let me try the mauve color because maybe that'll be more muted. Well, this is too dark. I mean, it's, this is mauve dream. I think that says the writing is really, really tiny. And this is like, come on, this is like maroon. Come on, that's craziness. And I wore the pink plush once and I kind of like just put it on my bottom lip and then rubbed my lips together to make it more sheer. And after I ate, it was gone anyway. So it didn't even last that long. Um, and I, I mean, the, I mean, the colors are just crazy. They're all so bright. I'm like terrified what the bright colors would look like. Cause I mean, they're supposed to have like this is the pink plush is supposed to be like a like a really light pink and it's crazy bright. So I don't know what their bright fuchsia colors that are supposed to be bright are gonna look like because that's I mean those colors are just awful. Like if they had lighter, more sheer, pretty colors, I would be all over them because I you know a stained gloss would be great. You know that would be something awesome to have. It would be a great product and these suck. So that's my little rant. I've kept this nice and short. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please subscri um, subscribe, comment, like, um, and let me know what else you want to see from me. Um, the next video will be my face favorite products. All right, so I'll see you guys soon. Bye.